Hey guys, Ryan Schultz from techcourse.com and this video is about the ease of use and navigation around a Mac desktop. I'm a fairly new Mac user, been with Windows since uh, Windows 95 and I'm just going to show you, uh, if you don't know, this is really for non-Mac users at this point, some of the nice features that uh, allow you to navigate around the Mac OS X desktop. So the first thing is the search in the top right. Say you're looking for a file, tech. I have this file that I use for my YouTube description. It's called technology or tech. So the top hit happens to be happens to be that file. You get the definition. You get applications, documents, folders, messages, contacts, images, PDF files, web pages, music, movies, fonts, presentations, all kinds of stuff that contain tech. You can adjust all that. You can do show all. There's all that information. Then you can specify if you want it to search the entire computer, or maybe tech happens to be in your user fold in your uh, user folder. You can search uh, the content of the file for tech or the file name. There's all the file names on my computer that contain uh, the, the keyword tech. Well, we have an, a, a finder window up in here. You can see your devices, your places, and your shared uh, information on the side. Devices, that's going to be your uh, different disk drives plugged in, your physical computer. If you plug in an iPod or an iPad or an iPhone or something, you're going to find it over there, digital cameras, so on, so on. Places, you've got your desktop, your users folder, applications, pretty straightforward, your documents in there, just like Windows, downloads, and uh, that's a, just a folder I keep on my desktop. So it's pretty uh, nicely organized there. You've got some options up here at the top, um, really quite a bit like Windows. Um, you can have that look like that. Click that, you get an uh, older Windows look. Here you get somewhat of a hierarchy system. You can leave that open. But you can click it here and then you you know just go through and you can see everything and this kind of looks like iTunes get all your information like that and then you have that same search bar up here if you want to search for anything there so that's pretty nice you've also got something called spaces spaces is a really neat thing uh, that Windows does not have as of now so you uh, you're working on something in your finder window we'll go over to space 2 open up uh, Safari Here it is, space three, we can open up something else, space four, and so on. And then you switch back and forth, maybe you're copying files, and you want to have, it's really a couple different desktops on one computer. Really great organization, I really miss the feature when I uh, switch back over to Windows, maybe just a day or even uh, 20 minutes and I'm trying to do something, it just doesn't work right. So uh, your dock down here is pretty much like Windows 7 taskbar. You can drag stuff around, take it out, put it in, set it to launch it, log in by right clicking and options here. Um, show it in the finder. That's pretty simple. It's just going to take me the, to the utilities folder. Um, but really it's just you pin all your icons down there. You've got some op options. You can make it bigger or smaller, move it around your screen. Uh, just looks nice and everything's nicely ordered down there uh, really to your, um, cho your choosing. Up at the top, you've got this bar, kind of like the taskbar in Windows. It's all customizable. You've got your Wi-Fi signal, your battery, your sound, Bluetooth, um, some applications. Put little icons up there, and then your your spotlight uh, search bar is there. So uh, Mac OS X, I think, is really easy to navigate around. If you uh, have multiple windows open, we'll go back to the Safari and um, Finder flag tab, or I keep saying flag command tab puts uh, it's like alt tab in Windows just nice to be able to switch back and forth uh, somewhat easily but really Mac OS 10 it's really easy to navigate around my only complaint happens to be within finder I'll show you what I mean we will browse to a folder we'll go to documents no we won't how about pictures iTunes pictures Apple so here's all of these pictures in here from Apple by default, these pictures are not in Snap to Grid. You have to hit Command J and then do a range by Snap to Grid. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Then if you copy a whole bunch of them in, they're all on top of each other and it looks like crap. And then you have to do a right hand click, arrange by name, and then right hand click again, clean up. So definitely that feature is uh, way behind Windows, they definitely need to improve that, and I do expect some sort of an upgrade in Mac OS 10.7, whatever they call that. So uh, it's a little bit obnoxious. You kind of get used to it. Um, if whatever you make a new uh, binder or, or a new folder, 
using uh, obviously the Finder browser. Um, hopefully they fix it. That's all I can say. But right now it's really obnoxious. Even if you set as default when you do Command J, use as defaults, it still doesn't work. That's just a feature that uh, is completely worthless because it doesn't work. So as I've said before, it's really easy to navigate around. You've got your applications down here. Everything is in there. Your documents is here. Your trash, your uh, downloads folder. Settings, you don't have a real extensive settings pane. I suppose it's enough to do the everyday, but it's not, uh, in my opinion, as nice as the Windows control panel. But um, on the other hand, it is a little bit more organized. So um, say it again, Mac OS X, really easy to use to navigate around between spaces. If you uh, open Dashboard F4 on newer Mac keyboards, you can add all these widgets in, move them around, see how bad the stock market did today. Uh, you can pretty much add or install any widget you like, move them around, delete them. Just a really nice way to get to the weather quickly. You can even move some of those to your desktop if you want the, the Windows Vista or Windows 7 sidebar-esque way of doing things. So that's it. Uh, I hope that you guys learned something. If I missed anything, I really hope I didn't, but please comment below for usability. I just think it's really simple to use as your everyday machine. It's a lot, uh, in some respects, better than Windows <coughs> and uh, some respects not better than Windows. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. Many more to come. Be sure to check out our website, techcores.com. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And then we'll still, we are still taking live Skype calls every Tuesday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern time on stickem.com slash techcores. So hopefully we'll see you there or in tomorrow's video. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.